it's not your average wig shop. There's colors and styles and it goes on and on and on. I was extremely excited because not many places have party colors. I have a March Sensum wig, Marie Antoinette wig. This is very RuPaul, does a lot of hair. It's just like a toy store for hair. Suction wigs, goes right on your head, like a vacuum. You're fabulous, you're ready to go. Oh yeah. Some people after chemo get their hair back. I didn't get my hair back, it wasn't coming back. When I was younger, I was blessed with beautiful hair and then I lost it. It's almost like you want to assimilate, you want to look like yourself again, you want your old self back. It took all the strength, everything they had, just to walk in that door. To say, I need a wig, that took super, superman strength. That wig, I love it, love it, love it. It just, it makes me happy. I'm somebody else, y'all better come get me. Fabulo is taking one, don't need no phones. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Lois. Close your eyes. <laughs> Fabulous. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. We display over 200 different styles in our store, and we give wigs to uninsured and underinsured women and children going through chemo or illnesses that promote hair loss. Let's do the rock and roll. No, I'm do it at okay. all. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are in the business of holding these women's dignity. Boom! Oh, <laughs> In 1987, my Aunt Vida went through chemo. Chemo was basically kind of new at that time. So they didn't tell us that she would lose her hair. It was a very surreal moment because it was like, Vida, your hair came out. She made her first wig and it was perfection. She helped me with so many women. Every woman that walk in this door that praise me and think I'm doing something great is Vita. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2007. I was diagnosed with alopecia at nine. People say you are not your hair, but it's just a part of who you are. And to have that taken away from you, if it's your choice, it's your choice. But when it's not your choice, it's a lot to live with. Now I have more of an appreciation for other things than just hair. She, I would consider my wig is she. She um, makes me feel confident. The magical wig is called Jet. It just transformed me. I came into the store, Glennis. I don't even know who I was when I left. I wasn't sure how it would look on me. I love it. <laughs> it gave me a chance to be like, you know what? I do have alopecia. <laughs> this is about me. This wig makes me feel a little bit better than my old self. Like, it's okay that I'm going through this because this makes me happy. If you come in here, I promise you, Miss Lois will send you home feeling better than your old self. She's extremely unique and loving. You have to cherish these types of people. I have gotten flowers. <laughs> I have a wall for a thank you card. Thanks for being the kind of person who makes a difference in the world. Love, Jada. When you walk out of here with a wig from Harris to you, wig bank, you're fine. And if you're not fine, we're not going out of business because we sold you a wig. You can come back, we can tweak it. We do not charge you for that. We want to make sure that you're fine.